Celebration Church. We are here to welcome you and invite you into our family. We're here to inform you about all the information you need to know and keep you informed about Celebration Church, everything going on, as well as welcoming our guests. Come on in and listen to what goes on inside Celebration Church, all of the ministry activities and the events. My name is Jan Peters. And I am with Celebration Church. And I have my wonderful, handsome, and beautiful co-host we will I, have here. I am Deacon Tony Blunt. Happy to be here. And I am Derek Claggett. Pleased to be co-hosting with my two lovely hosts. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Derek. <laughs> we, we have a beautiful scene here. We are so happy to be able to bring this to you every week so we are going to keep you informed and one of our themes for this year our actual theme for this year the theme for celebration church this year and inviting you in is love love is the word first corinthians 13 1 through 10 love is a very very universal word but it's also a word of responsibility a word that we need to make sure that we share with everything going on in the world we need more love and we need more love in the name of jesus yes, yes we, we do. need to make sure that we get this spiritual love message out to everyone celebration church is about love celebration church is about giving celebration church is about being a part of you and the community so with that said, we here at Celebration Church have different activities and different events that we do throughout the year. And right now I'm going to turn to sister, to Deacon, my bad, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> to Deacon Tony Blount mm -hmm. to talk about what we do here at Celebration for Consecration. Thank you, my host, Jan Peters. I am excited to be able to talk to you about the fact that our church, Celebration Church of Columbia, is doing a consecration for the entire month of January. What's really, really exciting is that there are many of us who may know what consecration actually means, and there are some of us who actually have never been introduced to the uh, spiritual concept of uh, consecration. And so we're happy to let you know that for the remainder of this month, uh, b next week, the 13th, uh, the, the uh, 20th, and then we're going to culminate on January 27th, where we have leadership, various people within our ministry teaching on the various facets of consecration. You're going to learn about what consecration means and the importance of setting yourself apart so that what happens, we all can hear from Jesus. Yes, Very important. Absolutely. 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 And, you know, and it's also too, you know, some do the Daniel fast. Yes. And some do, some do just give something up. That's right. To show your sacrifice to get closer to the Lord. When you sacrifice something you really, really love and you get spiritually connected during this consecration fast. So just give That's up so something, whether so it's true. social media, whether it's a specific food, whether it's, you know, some shouldn't do, but text while drive. So it could be, <laughs> I'm just saying. So and Sister Jan, right. I'm actually glad that you, you pulled out that point because what, what's important is that the relationship between you and the Lord is what will determine what you choose to give up. Yes. And so just as Jan has said, our church is providing a basic guideline uh, under the uh, Daniel fast, but that may not be suitable for everybody. So you personalize it, you individualize mm -hmm. it, because what's important is that if you hear a yes from God and he says these, these will be the components of the fast that you um, embark upon, then guess what? It's a good thing. Absolutely. And it's really important because God honors your faith. Yes. And what you decide to put before the Lord as a sacrifice for you, it may not be a sacrifice for someone else. That's right. It's so important, though, that your faith is activated. Absolutely. And God honors our faith. 
He does. He, yes, his, he does. Our simple faith and, and how we express that faith to him. So take a step and consecrate yourself to the Lord in your special way, in the way that you've prayed about. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you decide to do a fast from anything, make sure you check with your doctor first because it's important not just to be spiritually grounded and healthy, but be physically healthy too. That's so right. check with your doctor on what you decide to fat, fast about. And also too, what, every day, read a chapter of Proverbs. Proverbs 1 through 31. Absolutely. Every day when you're fasting, that will help you build your relationship with Jesus Christ. It really does. Yes, it does. It helps us all to become anchored. And the only thing that anchors us is the word of God. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Much Absolutely. wisdom to be found in the Proverbs. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. A lot of wisdom to be found in Proverbs. That's so right. each day of the fast for the entire month, as Deacon Tony was saying, for the entire month of January, each day of the fast, go ahead and read Proverbs every day, 1 through 31. Absolutely. And what I'd like to interject, too, is that... Um, I know that you're going to address this at some point, uh, uh, Deacon Jan, but don't focus on trying to remember the dates of uh, the, uh, the 13th and then the uh, 20th and then the 27th. When you access our uh, social media platform, you'll be able to go right into events and you'll see a whole combination of exactly what's going to go on on specific dates. Thank you so much. I have the pleasure of, of announcing uh, our foundations training. We're so excited about this. And this training is being led by none other than our senior pastor, Robbie Davis. Yes. yes. If you've yes, ever yes, sat yes. under his teaching ministry, you know, the dynamic gift in articulating the word of God yes. to both young and old believers. And this training is so important. I mean, think about it. We're in 2021. Mm -hmm. And in this time, and age, there is no better time than to have your foundation secure in Christ. This training is not only for older folks and old hats, but also for new believers. And I gotta right. tell you, if you're an old hat and you've been around for a while, sometimes it's very important that you get your basement checked to make That's sure right. your foundation Hello. is still, is still is right. good. And for new believers, it's so important for your roots to sink down into the Word of God and be established. So listen, every Tuesday at 7 p.m., this is only for one hour, from 7 to 8, for the remaining Tuesdays in January, you can register online Yes. for yes. the class. You have to register. We'll send you a link so that you can have access to the class. And we're meeting virtually every Tuesday from 7 to 8. Yeah, you wouldn't want to miss that. Absolutely. It's with our pastor. And in addition to that, we have our January encounters going on this entire month of January as well. We have next Sunday, January 17th at 1 p.m., <laughs> our prayer encounter with facilitated by Elder Ken Cooper. He's our a own. dynamic man. He yes, is he a is. prayer yes, warrior. Is. <laughs> you he will really be is. filled yes, with the is. spirit yeah. in his class on January 17th. And we also have another encounter because you can be spilled, filled with the spirit, but sometimes you may not be filled with the right mental capacity. Yes. So That's we so true. also have, That's yeah, right. we also have January 24th. We have our mental health encounter. So essential. Yep, and, and that's facilitated, facilitated. I can't talk. That's, that's yes, facilitated. She can. <laughs> <laughs> that's facilitated by Deacon Joanna, Joanna Durham. Durham. Mm -hmm. And the focus is on loneliness and isolation, especially now during this pandemic. People Janet, are by themselves. It's incredible. This couldn't be a more important time for that. Absolutely. Even Absolutely. the strongest of believers are struggling in areas of their faith. That's right. Um, and loneliness and isolation. The folks that typically have access through other means who That's are shut right. in. Mm -hmm. It's so important to keep our minds activated, filled with the word of God and renewed. Absolutely. Yeah. And I want to point out too that Deacon uh, Joanna Durham is a licensed counselor. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. Excellent point. Mm -hmm. Excellent mm -hmm. point. And mm -hmm. she's been doing counseling here in the church. And for those who have gone to her, have had very fulfilling experiences in working with her and talking to her mm -hmm. and learning about themselves and learning how to get through certain situations. But again, we're going to go back. That's on the 24th. And then on the 27th, I'm sorry, on the 17th, mm -hmm. next mm -hmm. Sunday, mm -hmm. we have the, as we mentioned before, the prayer encounter. Now, 
those of you who have, we have consecration actually each month, mm -hmm. the first full days of the month, first three full days of the month. Mm -hmm. And Elder Ken Cooper is mm -hmm. there at 6.30 in the morning on a Wednesday. Awesome. And he is there praying for you. Yes, he is. So he yes. is the man <laughs> to get you through. Yes. So prayer can also get you through so many things. So make sure you register now. Absolutely. There's two ways you can do it. You can go online to register for the prayer encounter for next Sunday, January 17th, with Elder Ken Cooper. And you can go on our Celebration Church app. You can go to the app and get, in, in, get registered to register for the class because it's free, but you do have to register. So right. keep that in mind. So go mm -hmm. ahead and register now. Very important. I, yes, I give is. you permission All to go way. ahead and register while we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I'll interject at this point as well that anybody who has not yet downloaded the free celebration it is. Gotta it do is. app, I am an encourager. Get it done. You can do because yes, just with a point and a click, it just opens you up to the full yes, access yes, yes. of all of the services. That is so to true. To include the Sister encounters Jane. and so true. and the, uh, the all the consecration uh, trainings and teachings that we're doing. Right. Now, so, right. Yes, we're sermon making, notes, mm -hmm. all kinds of helpful resources that uh, will bless your life. It's all readily available right there in the app. And, and like to add as well, we will, of course, culminate with uh, breaking bread together in our traditional communion uh, service. And so that's, I'm sure, going to be on the 27th. But what I want to let you know is that anybody who's in need of communion elements, you can email the church and let us know that you'd like to have them. Or you can come to the church any day, Tuesday through Friday, beginning at 11 a.m. through 4 p.m. Again, Tuesday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you desire to have communion elements, we'd like to provide that to you. And of course, Make you sure need you to stop <laughs> at the Welcome, welcome Center desk. desk. You must stop at the Welcome Center Desk. Yeah, and make, and make, you make sure you call or email the church so you can make sure that your time is coordinated when someone is at the desk Staffing. and you must wear a mask. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Very important. Yes. Absolutely. Thank important. you very much. Mm -hmm. and, and, and just kind of going back a little bit, the app that we have here at Celebration Church, that's the other Inside Celebration. Our <laughs> team here, we're the Inside Celebration live hosts, but... You can go on the app, and that's the other inside celebration. And there are so many things you can get. And um, Brother Derek is going to tell us some more things you can find out on the app with the bookstore. Absolutely. Did you know that Celebration has a, a, a wonderful bookstore? It's awesome. Shocked awesome. full of resources, helps for your Christian walk, all kinds of guides and supportive materials that will help you when in life. And one of the things that I'd really like to um, mention or highlight is that many of the materials that um, are available in our library are actually authored and or prepared by Winterians here right at Celebration Church. Oh, bless your heart. It's, it's amazing the talent that we have, the materials that we have, and it's, I also wanted to share with you just the time for the, for the, the actual physical bookstore which is from Tuesday through Friday, you can come to the church, you must be masked, between the hours of 10 and 5. Yes. And then you can also access the materials through the Celebration app, 24 hours a day, yeah. seven days a week. Yes. It's, it's a wonderful resource. And support it, because there's so many things there yep. that, Absolutely. You, that will benefit you. And we all, apart from the materials, we also have gear celebration gear ah. bracelets we ah. have the masks yes. and then we, i'd like to feature a couple of the things that um we're featuring this week yes and um, we have for the men oh, there you go there we are. this sharp stylish hoodie in all sizes from small to extra extra large we have something for you it's comfortable it's not as heavy this is a transitional one you can wear this around the house um, it says winterian on the back and you can proudly wear that and let folks know that you are a part of the City of Champions. And then for our ladies, we had this beautiful um, pink 
Hot pink. Sweatshirt. Hot pink. Hot, beautiful. Hot, it's a little thicker. It's a little warmer. Our first lady's favorite Her color. favorite yes. color. You just <laughs> took it out of my mouth. Right. And it's got the, the, the celebration emblem in, a, in the same color, which is a subtle overlay. It's really kind of chic. Very nice. Um, so if you have oh, and on kids. The on the sleeve, yep, it says celebration. Sleeve, celebration. Our logo. Re represent. Represent now. It's our Absolutely. logo. So the, yeah. not only for you, but for kids, That's grandkids, right. anybody you want to keep toasty or stylish. That's right. Mm -hmm. Get your gear at the Celebration Church bookstore. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And with the bookstore, and if, if you don't mind, before we do this, can you just make sure you put the app back up so they know what the Celebration Church app looks like in order to download it? Yes. Okay. And on that app, we have our very own Inside Celebration host <laughs> book. <laughs> that is on sale in you. our Celebration Church bookstore. <laughs> Deacon Tony Blount, if we can get a shot of this, Aww. of her beautiful face on the cover of the book. Isn't that awesome? How's that? Is that better? Can y'all see that good? <laughs> Deacon Tony Blount. Tony Blount, please Righteous. let us know the title and tell us what inspired you to write this book. Thank this you. This is my, awesome. Thank, I love thank it. you, my host. Thank you very much, Jan. <laughs> Righteous Redirecting, first of all, is the title of the book. And I am humbled to be able to use this platform to say something very brief about the book. You asked the most key question to me, and I thank God for that. And I thank you for that. What inspired me was the Lord. I could not get away without writing it. If anybody can relate to God nudging you, yes, that's yes. what he was yeah, doing with is. me. Absolutely. And so I had to simply obey. That's and it. that's what brought about that book. The whole purpose of getting it is to share the path that God allowed me to journey through. Why? So that I can inspire and encourage other women, men, Mm -hmm. boys and girls there it is. that you can take your next step no matter what it is it doesn't mean writing a book but it could be most anything just take your next step to advance your life i love That's it so important i love yes. it yes deacon so tony m blount thank you so righteous much righteous redirecting embracing the destiny of change and, you and know, I, with this book, Destiny of Change, you can talk about some of the things that we have going on as far as training to help us change our spiritual life. Absolutely. We, coming up uh, next month, we're going to be having some ongoing uh, training. Uh, so I would, I would just simply say, stay tuned. It's just like we're telling you now that we have platforms on designated days during the month of January. It's going to be the same thing throughout the month of February. So you would want to, uh, of course, tune in, check out our celebration uh, website, check out the uh, app, go to the events. And the events will just open up an entire calendar. I think we're calendared out probably through the end of April, but you can take, this is what I like, I'll share this with you. I like that I could look at the events calendar for our church, I could then sync it with my personal calendar and I could begin to plan my, my spiritual time with the Lord uh, as a result of looking at what's available yes. on our calendar. And that's one of the things I do love about our church is the fact that we offer so many opportunities that's for right. spiritual growth, mm -hmm. for getting closer to God, to knowing what we need and what we don't even know we need that's right. to be better people, to be better Christians. And all of these training opportunities and all of these foundations that we put together each week, each month, is really helping with our spiritual growth. So that's right. we appreciate that. We appreciate that. Yes, we do. Okay. So I think what we have now is one of the things that we appreciate. We appreciate acknowledging <laughs> the people in our church. Yes. Birthdays, anniversaries, Woo! and we're ready to celebrate all month Woo! long. Woo! And as I, I don't know if some of you saw it before, but <laughs> my birthday's in January, so that's coming up. Happy birthday, my sister. <laughs> and we're saying, we're, we're, 
Sending a shout out to Dolores Foreman. Happy birthday Woo! to you. Celebrating on January 9th. And she, Praise God and bless you, sister. Absolutely. And she's one of the mothers in our church. And yes, happy indeed. birthday to Mr. Morris Mo Henry. Woo! Oh, my God. <laughs> on the ninth. Yes. What a handsome young lad. Happy birthday, young man. Yes. And to Jessica Singwa. Yeah. Happy oh, birthday. Nice. Celebrating a birthday with a yes. great on shot. The tenth. Excellent. Yes. And happy birthday also to Miss Lawana Bowden. Woo! God bless you, sis. We yes. love you. Make sure y'all send in these pictures. That's right. They're beautiful. <laughs> happy birthday, <laughs> Denise Wright. Yes. These yes, yes, yes. Happy birthday. On the 11th. Celebrating on the 11th. A worker in God's vineyard. Yes, yes. And happy birthday to Sister Shirley Williams. Well, God yes, bless you, sister. sister. Shirley, on the we 11th love you. too. Yes, indeed. January birthday. And we also and have a, mm -hmm. a couple of anniversaries. Yes, indeed. To well, none oh, other than Pastor Larry Walker and the Deacon Alfredo Walker. On One the of planet. the most happy anniversary. <laughs> God bless you. Beautiful Around couple. our deputy. God bless you both. Yes, 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 Leading yes. deputy pastor. And I yes. believe it's, what, 35 years, I believe? Yes, it's 35 years, correct. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Amazing. Pastor Larry. We love you. Pastor. And Deacon Alfredo Walker, we love you both. And we wish you many more years of blessings. Yes. In Jesus' name and love. A couple has worked and continues to work in the vineyard for so long. Mm -hmm. and, and now that Amen. we did that, just to remind you, make sure you get the information in for your birthdays, for your anniversaries. We do them weekly. Yes. So we do them for that particular week. So get your information in through two ways. The info, uh, the email is info at winninglife.com. Yes. Yep. And you can also get it at um, what's, oh, on the app. On the app. Yeah. Yeah. On the app. Sure your birthday directly <laughs> the through app. the app. <laughs> on the and app. Then you point it down. So make sure that you get all of that information into us so this way we can acknowledge and be excited about your day just as excited as you are. That's right. As well as your anniversaries. And make sure you get those pictures into those ways to get the information to as us. As soon That's as right. possible. So what, yep. what, what, what we hope to bring to you on a regular basis mm -hmm. and what we're going to be doing each week is bringing you, as we did, all of the information that we want to share with you going on in Celebration Church, in mm -hmm. our Celebration family, in mm -hmm. our Celebration community. Um, our worship service is 10 o'clock every Sunday. Yes. You can tune in on all of our platforms. Our platforms are winninglife.com, which mm -hmm. is our email. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, our website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can go yep. uh, listen to our service there. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on Roku. And you can watch on YouTube. On YouTube. Yes. Did I get everything, y'all? Because we, so. we're, we're everywhere. You did. We're <laughs> everywhere. So. Yeah. We're yeah. everywhere. Yeah. So make sure you tune in every week and watch our service and get spiritually enriched. Yes. And make sure you go to the Celebration app. I know we've said it a million times, mm -hmm. but that app is a valuable tool for you to utilize here in Celebration Church. Because at Celebration Church, we are about community and we are about helping people. And one of the main things, our theme, and what we always yep. help people in, in the community, and what we always say is Celebration Church is helping, helping people, people win, win in, in life. life. Thank you. Thank you. God Thank bless. You. God bless. And we will we see you next you. week. God bless you. Celebration.